Hello folks and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video as part of our Two Old Rambling Bowyers series. I'm rambling and he's old. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> uh, last time, uh, or one of the other times we did our videos, we took a look at spine, um, which is the bendiness of um, arrow shafts. Um, it's one of the ways of matching shafts to the bow and matching the shafts to each other to make a consistent set. One of the things we touched on briefly was weight. Of, a, of an arrow and an arrow shaft and that's what we're going to look a bit more closely at today and uh, how you do that and what it means. What do we mean by the weight of an arrow? Well the physical weight of an arrow which we will weigh on some scales. Arrow weight for accurate target shooting has always been important. If you ever come across any old Victorian arrows the man manufacturers of the arrows weighed them and they weighed them then in shillings and pence. They used silver threepenny bits right, right. as a standard uh, they were in circulation, so they knew the weight of a silver threepenny piece. Mm. Which oh, was, so it was a consistent measure. So it was a consistent, right. yeah. So it was approximately 25 grains. Okay. So if you find a Victorian set of arrows that has four and sixpence written on them, it means they were weighed to four shillings and sixpence in threepenny bits. Oh, so they'd actually paint that information? They would have that on there. Oh, okay. And the set of arrows was within the weight of a silver threepenny bit within 25 grains. Right. So the lightest to the heaviest will be within a 25 grain range. So what does that mean as far as these scales? Well, are these, doing these shafts. The um, scales we've got here weigh in grains. They don't weigh in silver threepenny bits, but they oh, weigh in sure. grains. <laughs> okay. You have to do a ca calculation if you want to do that. Uh, so switch it on. Uh, this particular one has got a little plastic support for the arrow, uh, which we will be selling along with the scales. So, so that they, stops it rolling off. It, it just stops it rolling off. If you put the arrow on the flat plate, it can rest on the plastic surround of the unit, which obviously affects um, the, the weight. It doesn't act way accurately. Mm. This just keeps it off the shelf and enables the shaft to go on there. So that one is weighing 298 grains. Right. Uh, let's just pick another shaft at random and that weighs 341 grains. Right. So that's 43 grains difference between those two shafts. And, and this is just a set of shafts. Yeah. Uh, these, are, these have been spined as per our other They're video. spined to match a so um, particular you could, bow. You could have bought this out of a shop. Yep. You, know, you could have gone and bought a dozen shafts and there could be that much difference. Yes, if you just bought shaft. a dozen shafts off the shelf, took them home and weighed them, you can find that that one weighs 40 odd grains different to the others and a target weight pile say 63 grains is almost getting close to another pile weight which is a big difference it is we've had shafts that can weigh as much as a hundred grains difference to each other just the bare shaft yeah, yeah that's right so if you make up a set of arrows from that and shoot them and you find one consistently goes low it's not necessarily your bad shooting it could be just a heavy shaft mm. Trouble is, in order to get a match set, you might well have to buy two or three dozen shafts. Right. So you can take them home, go weigh them, and, and you might get a couple of sets out of them that are matched in weight, but each set would be a different weight range to mm -hmm. the other, which mm -hmm. is which is okay, because you can make the allowance for that mm -hmm. when you're shooting. Uh, the other option, of course, is to buy them from someone like ourselves who will weigh them, match them mm -hmm. for spine, physically weigh them as well. So we do so, this for you with the yeah. scales and, and the problem is it's so, got rid of. Yeah. So you get a, a set within uh, plus or minus 10 grains within mm. 20 grains, which so for most so, people is fine. Yeah. So we've selected our shafts, we're moving on to the arrows. Yep. What differences can be occur with putting all these components onto the arrow and what can we do what can we do there? Really? Well the main the main thing is the shaft. If you've selected those fine, the piles um, there is a manufacturer's tolerance, I think it's about 3%, so this is a 100 grain pile, so there could be a few grains difference in those. Right, right. Again, not really going to affect things too much. Uh, the number of coats of varnish you put on can affect the weight, as long as you put the same right, number right. of coats on, it mm. won't matter. Mm. Uh, the fletches, I mean we've had people making sets of arrows, weighed the feathers 
to get the feathers matching. Right, wow. Uh, weighed the piles to get those matching. But again, you'd have to buy several extra dozen of you each to be able to go through. Would. You, well, you would. Mm. Um, sanded bits of wood off to make sure they weigh exactly the same. Mm. Mm. But at the end of the day, I've ended up with a set that doesn't actually match their bow and shoot mm. off. So the arrows, the arrows match each other. <laughs> match each other, the but not the bow. Okay. But they give, as far as um, so, so the set, they're useless. So we've gone to the effort of making these arrows all match each other. What problems then, when we're shooting, can affect the weight of the arrow and, and what can be done about that? Um, well, the, the main thing is if you were to miss the target mm. and uh, arrow goes into the ground, mm. you can end up like this one with mud on oh, it. Right, I know this is a bit extreme, <laughs> but it, you're going to be amazed how many people will just pull it out the ground and shoot it. Yeah, just ignore the and and eventually, over weeks or months, you'll get a, a coating of, of mud and dirt on the arrow, which can affect it. Well, because each time it dries, you're going to get another layer on to go out. Well, that's, that's right. Today, you can probably see yeah. it's tipping down the rain. Uh, you're going to get more and more mud. Yeah, and, and this one we weighed, and they, these sets uh, here, that's 273, they're all fairly, that's 277, so 273, 277, two, 275, 277, is that a three? Sorry, sorry, my one was oh, yeah, three, 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 seven, three, seven, seven, three, seven, three, seven, three, seven, three, seven, three, seven, three, three, seven, 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 three, it's much easier, all and a nice, nice brass scale with a pan on it to put the arrow on and put your money on the other end. Steam. Yeah. Is it powered by steam? Let me help. <laughs> so 378. Right. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> and it's now 381. So it's added all three, three or so grains of mud. Of mud. Yeah. That's but that's right. one, I just literally went outside, stuck that in the ground. Did you? Yeah, I did. Sorry. Someone set of arrows. <laughs> And that's one one bit of mud. Yeah. But as we say, if you keep doing that and you don't get rid of it, it will build up a less. So someone, if you go to the nth degree to match them for weight, but you don't remove. Yeah. This and there is material. a magic bit of equipment from removing this. Ah, which is cool. Demonstrate that magic. Tassel. Aha. Uh -huh. Very nice. And is that so Victorian? Is that Victorian? Yes. Oh, it is. <laughs> it is with crochet top. Oh, okay. Go ahead. And a little pouch to put your silver threepenny bits in. Your know. shillings for getting three gold. Anyway, <laughs> you put it on and just wipe it through. Go on. No. Do what? No, no, this on. is a new tassel. We're going to ruin it. Well, sure. Wipe it through. through. Get the mud off. And then it's perfect. And you weigh that now. I'm going to weigh the tassel now. No, I've got three arrows now, God, and see if that's. <laughs> Ooh, look. Three seven eight. Three seven eight. As so it's now matches. So it, it, it now was. matches the other arrows, which is the point. It, it does. Which it does. And this set are actually pretty close. They're within mm. ten grains or less in the set. Yeah. And you can't do any better than that. Uh, if if you think of um, modern archers shooting high performance recurve bows mm. Yeah. Mm. and arrows made of carbon fibre matched to the nth degree. Mm. Do they get all the arrows in the gold at well, 100 yards? The Olympics, well, they, they don't. don't. Not every single one. Um, why is that? Uh, a, yes, you need you need good arrows, but you need a good archer. The mm. loose has got to be perfect every time. Mm. You've got to take account for the, of the wind, mm. um, the movement of your bow arm, mm. all sorts of things. Mm. So it's not worth spending hours and hours and hours getting them really accurate mm. unless you're a really good archer and mm. looked in. I mean, this is another one of those things in your arsenal as a Fletcher, someone making your own arrows, is to try and do this stuff as best as you possibly can, but perhaps to not obsess. Yeah, I mean, some, it. yeah some people just enjoy you know, doing that. Well, they spend that hours, it. that's fine. Yeah. They, want to, they want to do that. Mm. Um, but make sure that the actual set of arrows you end up with 
does match the bow and does perform properly, yes. otherwise you've yeah. wasted your time. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, when shooting, like the example we gave, shooting them in, in the ground, I mean, there's a lot of things that you can hit that might affect um, the arrow. And I don't think people really, like, not, not everyone realised what, you know, a small amount of mud could, you can do. No, you know, how much extra exactly. weight. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't think people realise, you know, what, what a simple thing like a piece of fruit can oh, do. No. I, I don't think people realise. I mean, the number of times I've been out shooting mm. and hit an apple. Mm. And if you don't take it off, if you don't take that off with the tassel, with the ta it, it's the tassel going to make a got huge got difference. Got yeah, so they are. So you, Perfect. Now, now it will be, you know, it will be around the three, seven, eight. That the rest of them, the rest of them were. Yeah. yeah. Um, and one other thing um, to add, obviously, with these scales, which is so we do, we've been selling these scales for a long time. Um, but these are, are, are relatively new, or certainly new to us, and do help uh, prevent the Irish shafts from from rolling around over there. Um, so we are going to be selling those as well. Um, but something to bear in mind if you do use one of these grains, some people aren't even familiar with, with what grains are, it's a very, very, very much an extremely small uh, amount of weight. These might need to be, um, uh, what's the word? Calibrated. Or calibrated. Um, so you may need a weight um, of something that you know what the weight of it is um, and to, to calibrate it, obviously, if you are going to go to the nth degree. So that's something I know um, the, the weight of. Oh my uh, god. Um, so yes, yeah, so I can... Actually, that's a bit under. Blast. You got done. Oh no. 